All right, so here we're going to review uh, instantiating a bunch of objects with a for loop. And we're also going to make this floor glow. Uh, so let's see. The problem we have, game object, create other point light. Put this right in the middle. I'm going to make it orange a little farther and a little stronger. So the problem is, even though the, this light is coming out of the center of the floor, so this is orange, but on top it's not, that's good, but over here, if this floor was glowing orange, it would light this up as well. So what we're going to do is, first we're going to make a bunch of cubes on this grid, like a bunch of, of uh, spots of cubes. And then we're going to, once we figure out that we make sure that we have the right cubes showing up, we're going to just turn them into lights. So, first we're going to make our cube. This is what we'll be making, uh, you know, 100 of or 50 or something. And I'm going to make it a little smaller. So there's our cube. I'm going to call it um, marker. And so go into assets, you need a resources folder, so create it, right click create folder if you don't have it yet. Go into resources, find your marker, left click and drag and let go, and now it's in here. You can actually delete this. So this is our prefab, this is like a cookie cutter, it can make more of those boxes. And we are going to go into scripts now, right click create C sharp script it's going to be called plain glow and uh, click the floor here so click the floor add component plain glow so now we're going to open this up in mono all right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is get our prefab, which is like our cookie cutter that'll make cubes for us. Uh, that'll be with resources, load, marker. And now we can oops, geo for game objects. Now we can use our prefab to make as many cubes as we want. We're going to start with one. Instantiate, go. No, prefab actually. As game object. Finally, uh, the transform will contain the scale, rotation, and position of our game object. So here we want position. And position is a vector 3. So if I make this, we'll just, uh, we'll go in Unity and give it a look. So it made a cube right here at 0, 0, 0, right in the middle of the plane. That's good. So now we want to make a bunch. So we'll try a for loop. Um, and x, x is less than 5, x plus plus. So what this will do is um, x will start at 0. It'll go all the way up to x equals 4. And it'll run this each time. Oh, and I want to change this right here to use the x value. Now the times two will just spread it out a bit. So if we play it again, have a look, it made five cubes here. Now if we want to make a grid of cubes, a bunch, you actually make a for loop inside a for loop. Same thing, just with Z. And the document's getting a little funny looking, so edit, format, format document, it spaces it out nicely, uh, and we got to use Z right here. And now if we have a look, right, so we made a bunch of them. Now the thing is it's not using the size of the floor, so they stop here and they should keep going. So what we have to do now is get the size of the floor and make sure X is less than the size. And what this looks like is uh, renderer.bounds.size.x. This is the x size of our floor. 
because plain glow is attached to the floor so the renderer is the floor renderer uh, and we'll just do the same here except with Z dot Z and oh yeah I think I'm also going to do int um, step size this will be the size of our steps before over here it was two now it's going to be five and I'm going to do plus equals step size down here plus step size and just we can get rid of that save it and we'll have a look Okay, so we made a bunch, but there's one last thing here. It's going off into space because uh, it's all centered on the zero here, the center. We actually want it centered on this corner. Um, so there's one last thing we need to do. We need to adjust x minus renderer.bounds.x over 2 minus renderer.bounds.z over 2 save it and whoops there appears to be some problem here console float line 14 okay silly typo dot size dot x dot size dot z save it now it'll work actually took me a couple minutes to, to spot that okay so there you go they've been made all over and so now we're just going to, instead of do a cube, we're going to turn these into lights. Now that we know they're actually placed in the right spot. So turn it off. We just have to make our light. Game object, create point light. Going to make it orange. And I'm going to make the intensity pretty weak. Um, otherwise it's going to be crazy bright because there's a lot of them. Range 50. And... I don't know. Well, yeah, it should be okay. And I'm going to name it Lava Light. So click Resources, click and drag Lava Light, bring it here. You can actually delete this. This is like a, a cookie that's been instantiated, so I can just delete it because we have a cookie cutter here. And note the name, uh, no capital and then capital. That's actually how you name things in C Sharp a lot of the time. So we just now go back into our code, change this to lava light, save it, and press play. There you go, the floor is glowing orange everywhere. And if we go on top of this platform, it's not orange because it's coming from the floor. And there you go.